So I already started my nighttime cleanse. And I started with the vanilla cove balm. There's a little bit more on that face. Okay. I have a lot of makeup on today. I may blow that because it's not coming off. So this balm gets rid of all the eye makeup and the gold that you have on your skin. Before I started this video, I did already start pre cleansing. I told you I was going to share my nighttime routine. It's going to be kind of fast and generic, but it's not good. As you can see, it turned into like a white milky mess. No, honey. Cream, yeah. Cream, yeah. I don't like cream. Why? All you're gonna do is pack. Pack my face. <laughs> Packed. Pack. And then we're gonna come in. Whew. My eyebrow is burning today. With the powder I was talking to you about, I'm gonna put a little bit of the face powder, add a little bit of water. Rub it between your hands. It turns into soap. What do you think of that? <laughs> hey, mask? No. It looks like a mask. It does, but it's just soap. So I always rub it in first with my hands. And then I'm going to come in with my PMD dupe. This has different settings. And this actually gets all donk out of your skin. It massages your skin, so it gives you nice circulation. Makes your cheeks rosy. Gets all the makeup off. There's different speeds. I think there's three or four speeds. There's the front, which is a little rougher than the back. Sometimes I've applied serums with the backside, but then I always have to clean it in alcohol because I, I don't feel like it's a good idea to keep the oils on when you're using this it as a cleanser. Like a this looks like a brush. That's a brush for the hair. Yeah, so what she's talking about is this little brush, and I use it in the shower after I put conditioner in. I just comb my hair through. It's also silicone, and it just gets all those tangles out for you. That's also a Korean brand. You like the way it feels? Yeah. I do too. It gives your face like a nice scalp massage when you're in the shower. You won't use in the pot. Your face, you don't really want to rub it. No, don't step on your face. Look in your hair. So this is my game changer that I was telling you guys about. My glycolic acid toner, which I just think is pretty much gone. But thankfully I have another one waiting for me. And you just put a drop of this on your cotton pad. And I just go over my face with it. I do circular motion. It gets off all the rest of whatever's left. This is starting to be too much because where I got the cleansing. And I really didn't have a lot of makeup on today. I just had that on that La Roche Posse tinted moisturizer, which is cool. So. Okay. Uh, Me. <laughs> so talk about your product. <laughs> you have nothing to say about it? Does it make your skin, your hair feel great? Once a week also, I grab a Q-tip. I know you're not supposed to really use Q-tips because um, they push in the wax. 
So I put a little bit of hydrogen peroxide and gently go in now all the way in, but just enough. Grab another Q tip and I use the dry side. Would you pick that up? And just kind of go in it. Lately, my ears have been really hurting me. Well, not both. This one. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just feel like you get a good clean that way. Where'd you get this? Take that out of your mouth, please. Um, okay, so we did our soap, we did our cleanse, and we did our brush. We did our brush. We did our brush. Okay, it fell down. But anyway, now that it's down, this is just after the toner, guys. So it really, I mean, honestly, makes a big difference. Thank you. So now we're gonna go for a. Um, Thick is too thick. Thick. Thin is too thickest. And she is losing her mind. Well, what one do you want first? This well, then, pink nope, one? this one. Down first. So, the first thing I'm going to put on my. Oh, it's actually not even. The first thing I'm going to put on, which I use every night. Stop touching. Down. Is my tretinoin. I did start tretinoin again because of. Do you want your pink after you do that? No, I'll let you know, okay? Put that down. Mm -hmm. My doctor had ordered me tretinoin um, just to use for now because my skin was having some issues. It was from the yeah, mask. I put it on this my back. I mean, I'll let you know for like, I don't know. I put it on this left side. I don't know if I look. All right. I need this one? No, this one. Your yeah. pussy was last one. Yeah, this one now? Mm -hmm. So this is the buffet. You know, the buffet is the one that I said was full of antioxidants, peptides, and all that. This one is full of molecules. So most of your serums, like your hyaluronic acid, which penetrates kind of deep, but only so far, this goes to the dermis, to the epidermis, all the way Not down. Way baby. Wait, baby, please. Not yet. Um, these have big molecules, small molecules, so they're going to go all the way down to the epidermis, dermis, and then they also have thicker ones that are going to stay on top of your skin. Like that, honey, put it down, please. Uh, do you need this one? Not yet. You really should let these sit, like at least five minutes between each one. one now? Mm. Then we're gonna put on our cream. It's gonna be a very light day. Usually I do a mask or something at the end of the night, but today has been just so crazy. She hasn't napped all day. I'm exhausted. We're just gonna do this quickly. We talked about this earlier, the Comfort Zone Hydro Memory Cream Gel. Um, because my skin is not having a mask today and it's feeling a little dry. Yeah, I'm feeling a little dry. Sit really down, sweetheart. I'm going to mix this with the um, Pycnogical by The Ordinary, which is um, amazing. It's an antioxidant support, and it gives your your skin that extra smoothness. So you're just going to do one or two drops, and it turns that reddish color, but it doesn't stain. Let me see. It's not yellow like the other one. And you're just going to put this all over your face. You're supposed to go in upward motions, they say. The reason why they say that is because you want your skin to, like, be firm and not now drag down. This one? But this honestly, one now? oh, I noticed if I do that, I do Let's break out more. So not just yet. Uh, so, you need this uh, one. This one? Not just yet. No, this one. The other white one. The white one? 
Thank you. Thank you. This is the rose hip oil. Rose hip oil is great. Rose hip oil is actually amazing. Now, if you mix this rose hip oil, which has um, that vitamin A in it, and your retinoids, you basically have retinoids, which I've said a million times, is like like retinol. That you would get. Don't touch it, honey. It's just the wet from the green from the water. Um. Not as quite as strong as your retinol. Obviously, it's not prescription, but. Um, it, it's kind of the same concept with, oh, with acne and stuff like that, I find. The next thing you're going to do is come in with your eye cream boost. Thank you very much, my little helper. And this is one we talked about earlier from the glossy box. Um, just a deep puff. And honey, don't touch that because it's glass. Sit down with it, okay? It's supposed to be puff. It's supposed to get rid of circles, fine lines, and wrinkles. And then we're going to come in with this great KW Kiwi Cooling Serum, which isn't one of my favorites because it is super, I don't know why it's so watery, but don't touch on it. It's open. It's open. Don't touch it. I already did that one. And then I always go right in the middle, too, where those little... 11s are, which I never had before, but now. All right, so once we're all done with that, stop, please. We're going to grab the buffet again. The buffet with the peptides in it. Gia, stop. This is all glass, honey. And I'm going to just go over the eyebrows. Don't touch it, honey. Because we are hoping to get these eyebrows to grow. I look crazy. Honey, this is glass. No, I need it. No, you don't need it. I need it for one second. No. I need it for one second. The last thing I'm going to do yeah. is put on this um, lip scrub. I forgot who this one was by. I want to say it's Hude House. No, Tony Mully. That's what it is. Tony Mully. I forgot. He's the one that says it's cool little fancy thing. It's cute packaging. It looks like a little apple. It smells like an apple, doesn't it? Yep. It doesn't smell yucky. Um, this one, believe it or not, it's not like other ones that I have that stay like rough. stay rough they actually go down and um melt into your skin and that is it i don't know if you can really see the lighting in here is pretty awful but you know What do you guys think? Please leave your opinions.